Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and I wanted to show you a nice alternative to iTunes. AnyTrans was nice enough to sponsor this video, and this program is really iTunes advanced, basically. It does a lot of things that iTunes doesn't, and has a lot of extra features. So let's first plug in the iPhone. It works with iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Wait for it to connect, and it's connected. It gives us a bunch of options, and you'll see we can merge a device. So if we click on this, it says please connect at least two iOS devices, so you can merge two devices. So if you've ever run into that issue, which I know a lot of you have, where you have actually had two devices and you've already set one up, maybe you got a new phone, you set it up already, and you want to bring over your content, this will do that for you. You can also bring your content from your phone directly to your Mac. You can add content to your phone. You can use your phone as a drive or your iPad as a drive. If I click on this, it takes a moment to load the data and you can actually use it as a drive just with folders and everything else. Now I haven't used it, but you can just click to add new content, browse whatever you'd like. Here's some recordings I have. And I just move that to my iPhone. So it's really simple that way. We'll go back home and you'll see I can connect to iTunes just like you could before. So it bypasses this device and then you can bring content to the device or you can clone it directly to another device. So instead of merging it, you can clone it exactly. Also, we've got some new options here. So once I'm here, I can choose a category below to manage the content on my device. So within the file system, I could manage the storage, for example. We can go back and you can manage all sorts of different things. Audio, if you have audio, podcasts or iTunes. If there's something on your device, I don't use the podcasting app, but if it's on your device, it will have your podcasts in there. So you can see everything directly. We'll go into books and you'll see there's two books in there. In videos, you'll have home videos and TV shows and any time lapse and slow-mo videos you've actually recorded. Everything will be there. If I go into movies, I actually don't have much on my iPhone itself. Let's see if we can go into, uh, maybe we have photo and video. So there's some photos that are on there. So we can just manage that also directly from within this program. Now up at the top, we have some other options as well. We've got our iTunes library. So it'll take a moment to load, but this is right from the phone itself. You can grab whatever you want, drag and drop or whatever you'd like. Just drag it in, remove it, whatever you'd like. You can use it that way. So you'll see I have quite a few different songs on here and the way they're sorted is maybe I'll take this song here and I want to move it to the computer. Just click on it. It says, where do you want to save it? I'll save it to the desktop. And it just creates an AnyTrans folder. We go in here and there's our media right there. So it just moves it that simply. It's really nice and you can e easily move back and forth. Now we have other options as well. We can manage our playlists. We've got our music, our movies, our TV shows, podcasts, just like we could on the file system level with the other options, you can do it this way as well. You'll see up here we have iTunes backup. And if I go here, this is where this gets pretty interesting. I've got different backups on my computer that this will take a look at directly. So if I want to view my own backup, I click on view and you'll see all the different folders. Now I could go into my system preference folder and drill down into these folders if I want. So if you wanted to modify something there, you could. But the other thing you can do is see all of these different things on the left here. You can see your contacts and your messages and your call history and your web browsing history and your photos. Anything that's in that particular backup will be here and shown. So any of your messages you want to get, just click save to your computer and you can do that. You also have some settings as well. So you can look at your output format for Safari, for example. If you don't want it in HTML, you can do it in an Excel spreadsheet style CSV file. Contacts VCF, so if you want to export them and import them to another device, you could do that. So maybe you forgot to import some contacts to a new device you have. Maybe you moved to Android and you want to do it that way. You can do it that way. It's really nice. Same with notes and everything else. You've got the choice to do whatever you want here, and it's really nice. One of the other things they do is iCloud content. So if I go to iCloud content, you can sign in with your iCloud ID. So let me do that. Within iCloud, once you're signed in, you can do an iCloud import, or you can look at your iCloud drive, or export your iCloud files, or sync iCloud. So if I go to sync iCloud, I could sync my contacts, or my notes, or my photos directly from here. You've also got that toolbox option here. You can just switch back and forth. And you can sync or whatever you want. You can go to a drive, your iCloud drive. We can upload whatever we want here. So you can add whatever file you want and upload it. You can download it as well. You also have 
your device content. That's the folder I showed you before that has all of your different content. You can do video download. So maybe there's something you want to grab from Vimeo or anything like that. One of your own videos, you can grab it by copying the URL and just move it over to your computer. You also can change the appearance as well. So you've got space gray. Let me apply that. We re rebooted the program and now it's space gray. So you've got different color options as well. So the whole program is really pretty interesting. It has a lot of nice features and has multiple devices here. If you want to connect another device, that will show up as well. And again, you can clone it and everything like that. So it's a nice alternative to iTunes. And I think if you're looking for something, you don't really like iTunes, this might be a good way to go. Now it is a paid program. They do have a free trial, but it works for PC or Mac. So you have different licenses and this is up to five PCs or Macs or one computer, but there is a free trial as well. So if you want to check it out, you can do that. So it's, it's pretty nice and does a lot of things that you're just not going to find in iTunes itself. The music transfer from your phone to your computer is really nice, as well as the iTunes backup and the way you can actually go into the backup and check them out individually. So it's really, really simple and really nice. Let me know what you think of any trans in the comment below. It's made by iMobi. They make some other programs as well that we may take a look at in the future. But again, let me know what you think of them in the comments below. If you've used this program, let us know. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.